Hello friends and welcome back to Marquee Soaps. Today we are going to make some bombshell scented whip soap. So right now I have my container of our whip soap base which I made about a week ago that I'm just going to show you how I whip up and turn it into the finished product. So this whip soap can be used as a replacement to a bar soap or liquid soap in the shower next to your sink you can use it to shave with and you can use it as a shampoo as well it is a very similar recipe to my shampoo bars so the first thing that i'm going to do is measure out 30 ounces of this whip soap base and now we are going to add in some kaolin clay Some Cheshire Cat Mica by Nurture Soap. This is just a beautiful purple color and it will turn it into a nice pastel purple. and a little bit of sweet almond oil. I'm adding about one ounce. I'm now adding in a preservative. Now the whip soap base already has a preservative. This is just to uh, preserve the extra items that I'm adding in here now and lastly we are adding in our bombshell type fragrance this is by crafters choice which I buy at wholesale supplies plus And now it's time to whip this up. I'm going to start by putting it on the lowest setting and slowly my working my way up to the highest setting and it takes between five to eight minutes to fully mix this up. I will also stop it a few times periodically to scrape down the sides and bottom of the bowl to make sure that all that purple color is mixed in. So it's been about seven minutes. This bowl is as full as it can get and it's ready to go. So I'm just gonna scrape everything down and uh, get my piping bag ready and we can start piping this into our little containers. So I'm using an Atico 826 piping tip and this is just a reusable bag. I only use it for the whip soaps and I'm just going to try to mush all this product in the bag. It does take me filling it probably seven or eight times to fill up these containers. So here I have some eight ounce containers as well as four ounce containers. I was able with this 30 ounce batch to get 10 eight ounce jars and eight four ounce jars full of product. And I'm overfilling two of these containers because I do need to take new photos. And I like to have the top of it, I don't know, I guess um, 
a lot taller than what the jar would hold. I just feel like it gives my customers an idea of how thick this is. And it just makes the photos look really nice. So I'm just gonna go through and fill up all of the containers and I will bring you back. We're going to add a little something special on top of these and I'll show you some finished product photos. So here are the finished products. Um, I did get a new camera and so I'm having some issues with it focusing, so I'm sorry. Uh, I'm moving around way more than I should. But we added some pink eco glitter on top of these whip soaps. I'm going to get them labeled, put the lids on them, and photograph them and they will be available in my shop on September 15th. So thank you everyone so much for watching and we will see you next time. Bye guys.